to you, Blush. Okay, everybody, Alpha Mon or a diver here. And today we're gonna learn how to catch what baits and hooks to use to catch smallmouth bass and big mouth bass. So we have a variety. We have a fake snake, water snake, pretty lively guy. We have a fake fake, sorry, fake crayfish, fake tadpole, fake worm, fake mini squid, also known as a hard fish. Um, we have a barb curved hook, pretty nice. We have a minnow hook, extra long, I would say maybe extra, I would say size 13. And we have here a, trip, a treble claw, triple eagle styled hook. Very nice, gonna come in handy for all those predatory fish. And we are also gonna go for an extra fine, triple barbed, size 12 hook, curved hook. So, first off, let's start simple. We're gonna have a fake one. And I'm just gonna show you guys with a fake worm. But I would recommend using gulp, like any of their worm baits or maggot baits. It's really good. So for worm, there are two ways you can do this. First way is with the size 10 curved hook. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna double hook it. Um, if you're using gulp, just like let it sit. You don't, if you're using fake, obviously put some scent. And this, but if you're using, I would prefer using gulp because it obviously works way better. Um, second way is with this. And now you can catch, for this you need gulp. And what you do is, doorbell ring. Um, yeah, probably my little brother. We're just gonna take it and just send it straight through. And we're actually gonna single hook it. And we're gonna leave as much, oh God, it's stuck, hold on. We're actually gonna leave as much of the hook exposed as possible. So just like that, one on each end. <laughs> and maybe if it's pretty thin, double hook it. So, really good and the reason you have to use gulp cool. is because it's just so much scent on there any type of fish even a pretty good sized catfish will just come to it it's wicked how well that works next we're going to go with the crayfish yeah. and for this you want to actually use a minnow hook and what you're going to do is if we're using live just take the pincers off actually even if you're using fake, you may want to take the pincers off. But what you're going to do is, you're just going to hook them almost by the tail. And you may want to take the tail end off too. And just let it sit like that. Just let it sit to the bottom. If you're using real, if you're using real, actually just go for real bait and just mm -hmm. let it sit. Just let this guy sit up the bottom and just wait for us. And so that's how you do it. Yeah, those. you just you may want to put them near some rocky areas, maybe a little eddy area. But then there's a risk of getting tangled. No, not not in eddies. Um, next, we're gonna have tadpole, and for this, we're gonna use the size ten triple barbless hook. And we're just gonna hook that up just like a regular minnow. Bottom lip. And, ow. See, you have to watch out for these hooks here. They're little barbs. They hurt. And it's just like a simple minnow. Other way we can do, and I love doing this way, is with the minnow hook. This works awesome, awesomely. What we're gonna do, we're actually gonna take it up from the Minnow? Yeah, what we're going to do, we're actually going to go on top, and we're going to go pretty far back, and because the thing about a minnow hook is 
it it changes the depth, and you can send it. You can only, there's only maybe a centimeter or two, depending on what your minnow hook is that in depth that you can go. And that's great, especially for this style that I'm teaching you. You're just going to send it in the back, not too far deep, but enough to get it hooked and just out. You can use this for real tadpoles, fake tadpoles. And you actually want to keep your hook exposed, completely exposed. And have maybe, I would actually keep a good size. Yeah, I would actually leave a bobber. Get off, Evan. Evan, get, get off. I would actually leave a bobber and just have the live bait just move around in a certain distance mm -hmm. and just have fish come and gulp it down because the way this is, fish comes, fish is obviously going to go for the head and this will be waiting right for the fish. It'll get stuck in its upper lip. It's great, especially if you're using minnows or tadpoles. Awesome. No 15 minute thing. It's, it's almost dead. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. We're going to do part two later, people.